It's super small and it's gold. Gold. The human being and gold. Get a gold one. Gold all in my chain. I love gold. Hello, I am Chris and welcome to the Pocket Legion. This week we are going to take a look at the tiny gold giant, the Ardu Boy. Okay, so this is the Ardu Boy and it is tiny, I would say about credit card size. Now, I got this guy for about 35 bucks when they launched it on a Kickstarter and it was really interesting watching them go from a circuit board through to a finished console. You can see how small it is there. I think they're about $50 now if you go and buy one from the website. Um, so let's take a little look around it. Uh, it is programmable for a start, which is awesome. So a little bit like the tiny screen and any of the other Arduino chip kind of base stuff. You can write your own games, you can go on the website and there's a huge community already where you can learn how to do stuff and you can download other people's games and kind of play around with them and, and see what you might want to make. Um, so yeah, I chose to get the PCB in white um, and I was super lucky to get one of the uh, number one of the 250 Kickstarter edition gold ones. So that's super awesome. The front of this guy is made of like clear polycarbonate, you can see that there. And the back of it is like a single kind of stamped piece of aluminium. Unfortunately, not real gold, but you know, close enough. Um, this guy comes with an eight hour rechargeable battery. Uh, you can recharge and put the data in via the USB 2 port at the bottom. Um, and a super clear, very nice, uh, 128 by 64 pixel, one bit. OLED screen, so that's that's black and white in layman's terms. Um, you can see it's a little bit reflective, but whatever. Um, and this whole thing, I think the philosophy of this was just like build the most simple retro handheld you can make. Um, it's got, I think, a 32K flash memory and 2.5K of RAM. So you've got to be pretty slim with your... Uh, your code or at least highly optimized. But I've seen kind of um, almost like counter strike it, I suppose Wolfenstein and Doom style 3D games being made for this. Um, although most of them are kind of platformers and puzzle games and stuff like that. So um, without further ado, let's have a little look around. Here is the on off switch at the top. Um, you can see all the gizzards inside. Um, Nicely stamped Ardu Boy there in gold on the PCB. Um, really nice clicky little buttons. And yeah, pretty passable D-pad actually. I'd be kind of interested to see what a more complicated game would, you know, like a Mario or something would do underneath that. But yeah, it feels nice. You can hear the clicks. Um, USB port. I think, I'm not sure. I think that's the reset button in there. It's recessed and you need to get a pin in there. So I assume... And that's really it, so yeah. Okay, all right, so I have a pre-installed game on here. I think, uh, I don't know, Mean Beam Machine or something in that vein. It's kind of a Tetris type game. Okay, so you can turn it on. So you can see how clear that screen is. It's super, super bright as well. It's really nice. Um, let's play this. So. Yep, yeah, very responsive. You can see that screen is kind of super sharp. Well, at least for 128 by 64 bit screen. But it's beautiful and yeah, there you go. Well, for 35 bucks, I think that was a worthwhile purchase. But what does the pocket of judgment think? Well, you're pretty high quality, and I think I think I think I could fit about a hundred of those in there. I think you're going to get a Pocket Legion 
rating of Nescafe Gold. Look, I'm expecting someone. At this time of night? It's a neighbour. Uh, well, do we have time for a coffee? Golden roasted, richer, smoother Nescafe Gold blend. This week gets your bling on with Guacamole Gold Edition. Eat tacos, kill bad guys, you know the score. Thank you for liking, sharing and commenting. And as always, please do subscribe. And until next week, keep your pockets packed.